Two big announcements from the governor today. The beaches will be reopening tomorrow at noon, depending on approval from local leaders as of this evening. Some non-essential businesses will be opening their doors back up as well. News 2's Hannah Power spoke with local leaders about their thoughts on these statewide orders. Hannah. Brendan, the governor says that he wants a head start on getting things back up and running, but some local leaders worry it's all happening too fast. I would like to see us having this conversation next Monday. Mount Pleasant Mayor Will Haney thinks this move forward is premature. I think what we're doing today is too early. I think we're a week away. If you watch the um, press conference, DHEC said that um, the national guideline is you need 14 days of a plateau or reduced increase in cases. State health officials say the numbers have only been leveling out the last few days. But Governor McMaster has a vision of being first. We have to be able to accelerate as fast as we can and as safely as we can with the help of the people when that green light goes on. I don't mind the governor wanting to be the first with a big plan and to be at the starting line. But the worst thing we can do is have a false start. Mayor Haney says while he will follow the governor's orders, he has his own ideas on how to help Mount Pleasant return to normal. If we're doing the same thing with the town. We have plans for reopening, but that doesn't mean we're going to just throw the doors open. The governor says that he is putting together a program with leaders from across the state to identify ways to make sure South Carolina is the first state up and running after this pandemic. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, I'm Hannah Powers. Count on two.